graffiti and public art. I'm Bago Domitio. Travel all over the world. I take pictures of stuff, beautiful stuff, and mostly I'm just looking for beauty in life. You know, nothing really affects me quite as much as seeing public art, street art, graffiti, tagging, uh, whether it's murals or shop doors in Bologna, Italy, whether it's, you know, political graffiti in Egypt or beauty just for the sake of beauty and art, just for the sake of art. That's put out there with no other purpose than saying, I'm human and you're human and we share something and we both feel it and know it. You can't look at these photos of art or the art itself without actually feeling something. And that's the beauty of it. We go past the words. The words are important. And as a writer, I love the words. But Mr. Pippo says something even without his name next to it. You know, this peasant cutting down wheat says something. The boat says something. The walls of a sila say something. And you don't have to be Moroccan or Egyptian or Italian or French or Arab or Maltese to understand the meaning or feel the emotion. Sometimes we get caught up in the words, and I love words. For example, here, push the button and the house falls down. That's public art from words. This is public art politically on the streets in Cairo, in Egypt, Tahrir Square. There's something powerful being said, and it affected everyone who went by this. With good reason. Because the images speak to our soul. For example, I say fuck you is words, but the heart is what speaks. This mural of this woman is on garbage. It's written on, on a garbage wall, but it's beautiful, like the Mona Lisa. Who would expect to go to Asila, Morocco, ancient Medina, and find these French acrobats on the wall? But without words, this says it all.